Does yeah. the rock say he's clean? He has implied it pretty heavily, but he also doesn't end <laughs> up in scenarios where he gets ass point blank, whereas Liver King goes out of his way to fucking lean into it and use it as like a marketing spiel. The Rock should come clean right now. He should make a video <laughs> yeah. in response to the Liver King video. Yeah. Yeah. I need to talk to you because The Rock's been lying. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. The There's it, not a fucking chance in hell he's clean. No. Not a chance in hell. As big as The Rock is at 50. What was wild is he came out. Okay, and I get this is like coincides <clears throat> with the message he would want to push too. And I don't think it's like disingenuous necessarily, but it's like he was on a men's health interview and he talks about how his number one priority is longevity now. The and, Rock? Yeah, and I'm like, dude, like everything you're doing is like the hyper opposite of that. Like in terms of a diet, a lifestyle, potentially. But like the the drug exposure to maintain the physique, to then do the superhero roles, to do the whatever at yeah. his age. Like it's clearly... Not longevity focus. It's very much like how much can I milk this right now with my brand sort of thing. Well, we're not when you're looking at a physique. Let's look at a physique of the Rock, like a full jacked Rock. Find find the Rock at his most jackety jacked. He's I mean, like pretty fucking peaked in terms of like it, the last few years. He's definitely like turned it up a notch. At fifty, yeah, that's natural, bro. <laughs> that's a, yeah. That's how a, could you think otherwise? Eats a lot of sushi. Yeah, <laughs> but <clears throat> point is. It's like you can't even get there with HRT. That's yeah. not HRT. No. Like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, is this pro longevity? Like, of course not. And it's. No, he's so massive and he's so different than he was when he was 30. Yeah. When you're in your 20s and obviously mindful of your image and, you know, you're still working out like a maniac, <clears throat> you're like a top tier. Like, he's a genetic marvel. As is, anyways, when he was natural. Like yes. He, so to have all of a sudden, thirty years later, like you're in better form than you were in your twenties, like it's it's just fucking obvious. Obviously. Yeah. I mean, um, this is okay, but there's some better videos of him um, where it just, you know, shows this preposterous physique that, you know, there's a responsibility that you have to people that are listening to you. And if you don't want to talk about it, that's one thing. Yeah. But if you do talk about it, there's a responsibility that you have to people that are listening to you. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to be honest. Yeah. Which is why I'm honest about it. I just I don't think there's anything wrong with taking hormone replacement. I think it's actually wise. Yeah. I think it's healthier. I feel way better than I did before I was doing it. Mm -hmm. And I started doing it when I was like 37, 38. And even then, um, I was just taking like the cream. I was taking uh, testosterone cream, and like right away, I was like, "Oh my god, it feels so much better!" Like yeah. everything felt better. I don't think it's wrong. I think it's smart, but you got to be honest. 